A beautiful oasis city with ancient walls, minarets and unique clay buildings. Kiva is over 2,500 years old. Pakistan. Pakistan, my Pakistan. So soothing to be there. It's just you cannot miss any of them. You should make a visit to each and every mosque. We are India and Pakistan together. <laughs> 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 Kiva Khan's palace or Kiva Khan's chamber. Inside the king's room, you can typically find elaborating decorated walls and ceilings with intricate tiles. Assalamu alaikum and good morning from Kiva. If you are new, my name is Rifa and I am actually taking you on the tour of Uzbekistan at the moment. If you have missed any of my videos, you can go back on my channel and click on the playlist to watch all the videos up to now from Uzbekistan. So come and join me. First of all, we will go for a breakfast. Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Subah khair. We are in our breakfast lounge in the hotel. We will be going in Kiva city this morning, but first of all, we'll just have our breakfast. It's very different in this hotel where you actually have to order from a menu. So we've just ordered our breakfast. Ichenkila city walls and the gate. These are well preserved city walls and the gate surrounded the historic core of Kiva known as Ichen Kila. They date back to the 18th century and are the prime example of Central Asian defensive architecture. Madame, we are from? Uh, Pakistan. <laughs> Thank you. As we enter the city through the main gates, wow, look at the huge walls of the castle. A beautiful oasis city with ancient walls, minarets and unique clay buildings. Kiva is over 2,500 years old. If you are waiting to plunge into history and see the true beauty of ancient East, then welcome to Kiva. Let's explore Kiva together. I'm so excited for this city. It's my first visit to Kiva. It looks like a model city to me. It doesn't look like a real city. It's just something out of the 1001 Arabian Nights storybook. This is the main minar of Kiva city. What we usually see in pictures. It's huge. It's called Muhammad Amin Han Madrasa. It was built between 1851 and 1854. It looks like a complete minar, but it isn't. This is only the base of a big minar, which was ordered by one of the Khan. Muhammad Amin Han ordered to build this huge minar, which he wanted to be tallest in Uzbekistan. But what happened? 1854, he passed away and it just stayed unfinished. But it is beauty and landmark of Kiva city so let's go and discover it we'll go inside to have a look and I think you can probably go on top let's see if we can so guys I thought it was um, a madrasa museum but it isn't it's a hotel now and they're so nice in here they let me in and they said I can actually go in and have a look in the courtyard as well. Uh, it is not included in the museum ticket, but it is free to visit. So here I am. Since 1990, it has been protected as a World Heritage Site. The old town retains more than 50 historic monuments and 250 old houses dating primarily from the 18th or 19th centuries. Most of these buildings are restaurants and have 
the one we visited before was a hotel and this one is used as a restaurant like I said it reminds me of uh, as if it's the city straight out of the book 1001 Arabian night just walking around movie of Aladdin you see all these souvenir shops at the side as well as you walk keeps the vibe they're still opening up at the moment it's half nine in the morning Sayyid Alauddin Makbara from 14th century. Let's go in there. Sayyid Alauddin was a revered Islamic scholar and religious reader in the 14th century. The mausoleum was built in his honor after his death. It served as a testament to his significance in the region. His Muslim is not only a place of historic and architecture interest, but also holds religious significance for many. Exploring this Muslim provides insight into the religious and cultural heritage of Kiva and offers a glimpse into the rich history of the As city. As you are walking in the old city, it's not all museum. People do live in the area as well. So you can see, look at that. These are houses of people they live in, made with mud. Look at that house. It would, they have like uh, guest houses in their houses as well. Some of them will have mosques. Tea house Mirza Boshi. Kiva city, very popular uh, city on the ancient Silk Route. It is actually associated with the slave market. Caravans used to come here with slaves in it to be sold and stuff. And it was a very barbaric city at one point. Looking at the city, you don't think that is true, but unfortunately it is. It's a beautiful, calm city. People are so lovely here, so friendly. Everybody asks you where you are from and it's just excellent and this is the one city i found in uzbekistan who would actually the first thing they would say to you of pakistan but like usually in other cities they would say india or hindustan or something right i think this is more touristic city even though i don't see many tourists here at the moment what you do not miss when you come to kiva is go to one of the carpet workshops in the city to and witness how the carpets are made they are all handmade tailor's workshop you can make your dress from Uzbek tradition from carpet weaving workshops to stunning narrates overlooking the ancient town to old mosque and gorgeous tile concrete towers. Found 2,500 years ago, Kiva is the oldest city in Uzbekistan. And we know because of the Silk Road, Kiva has always been a big contribution in carpets, handmade carpets. Designing of the carpet takes about a few months and then they can take nine months to a year to be completed. A graveyard. Even the graveyards in Kiva are a work of art, which are so fascinating to see and look at. This Pahlavan Muhammad, fourteen. 19th century. Assalamu alaikum. Pakistan. Pakistan. This haveli dates back to the 19th century and is named after Pahalwan Muhammad, a prominent local wrestler and champion during that time. It was originally constructed as residence for him and his family. By now I also discovered that not every place is included in the purchase ticket where they said going inside every building would be free. Okay, so we're going in a museum. 
ये मदरसा था और इट हैज बिग मिनार टू इट विच यूजली कैन क्लाइम बट एट द मोमेंट इट इज क्लोज These are old stuff which has been damaged, been replaced with new ones, and that's the panel here. It used to be a mosque, what I can see from, and this is this the mehrab of the mosque. Oh, chape! We call them chape in Pakistan. We put them in the color, I put it on the cloth, and embroidery on the blueprint. Oh, nice. So we're at that is the Munara I really wanted to go on top. Unfortunately it's closed for restoration. If you are enjoying my video, you can go and subscribe to my channel for more coming from Uzbekistan, Egypt and Jordan. And you can go also go back and click on the playlist for Uzbekistan and watch all the videos from Uzbekistan. And I have other series like from Turkey, Southeast, Road Trip Turkey. I have from Pakistan, Muslim Spain and many more. Go and check out on my channel now. This is how a madrasa used to be, where students would sit and study. Mm. This is a museum about uh, how a madrasa would look like. And the Islamic science say, because it's all in uh, their language, I don't understand most of it. So, Mirza Ulu Beg's, oh, we've been there in an observatory in Samarkand. And that is how the Kila looked of the 4th century BC to the 1st century, how the portrait was, pre-Islamic times. So, Shavali Sarai. Tashoeli Palace, also known as the Stone Palace, Tashoeli is a magnificent 19th century palace known for its stunning blue tile work, ornate wooden ceilings, and beautifully landscaped gardens. It was once the summer residence of the Kievan Hans. Every corner you take in the Kiva city, you will come across the Kalta Minor Minaret, which is so soothing to your eyes to look at. Also, every mosque and madrasa is so unique in itself that it's just so good to, so, so soothing to be there. It's just, you cannot miss any of them you should make a visit to each and every mosque but if you don't have the time there are only few places you may be able to visit Konya Ark Citadel is one of them which you should not miss this historical fortress served as a residence of the Khivan Khans for centuries so I am in the the Ark Citadel of Kiva नमस्ते इंडिया से आए हैं ओ पहली दफा मैं किसी इंडियन को देखा यहां पे अपने लोग नहीं हम होते नहीं पाकिस्तान से अच्छा हिंदी बोलने वाला यहां कोई नहीं दिखता होगा नहीं कोई भी नहीं उर्दू कोई नहीं बोलता तो आप फैमिली के साथ आए हैं कहां से आए हैं हम लोग उत्तर प्रदेश से आए हैं आ इट्स नाइस टू सी दैट पूरा उज़्बेकिस्तान घूमे 
हाँ उज्बेकिस्तान इधर ताशकंद से गए आए हैं अभी इधर आए हैं समरकंद पे बुखार हो जाएंगे उधर सही सही <laughs> कैसा लगा अच्छा है नई चीज है नई चीज है तरीके का रहन सहन हाँ जी इस बहुत मुख्तलिफ है बाकी शहरों से मुझे ये मुख्तलि मुझे ये लगा कि ये कोई असली शहर नहीं है ये मॉडल की तरह लग गया है मॉडल की तरह लगता है हम्म लेकिन इंडिया में भी है ऐसी जगह हाँ, मैं कह रही थी कल मैंने कहा मुझे ना जयपुर का वो कल यहाँ पे वो कॉन्सर्ट हो रहा था शाम में अच्छा तो बहुत लाइट थी मैंने कहा ये तो ना मुझे वो जयपुर वाली वो कुछ लग रही है उधर भी है ऐसे ऊंचे ऊंचे आमेर का किला है हाँ जी सही इनशाला एक दिन वहाँ भी लाने चाह तो जाएंगे बस इंडिया आई एम फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान शी इज फ्रॉम इंडिया यस इस्लामाबाद वेर फ्रॉम One of the most significant parts of the citadel is the residence of Kivan Khan, the ruler of Kiva. The room is often referred to as Kiva Khan's palace or Kiva Khan's chamber. Inside the king's room, you can typically find elaborating decorated walls and ceilings with intricate tile work and traditional Central Asian designs. The room reflects the opulence and grandeur associated with the Kievan rulers of the past. It's a fascinating place to visit to get a sense of the history and culture of Kiva. There is also a small museum situated in the citadel which is very interesting to visit. You can see all the old stuff which used to be used by the rulers of Kiva and how this city came into being etc. You also come across some stalls of unique antique jewelry of Kiva as well as other souvenirs which you can take back home for yourself or friends or family so guys i'm gonna go up the arc and Look at the walls of the castle, it goes all around, all the way. That's all old Kiva city. I would recommend to definitely climb on top of the Citadel Watchtower for the 360 degree view of Kiva city and that would be your best point of visit in Kiva 100% and especially if you come in the evening you will be able to witness the most beautiful sunset this will be my video from Kiva and I'm done for Kiva and we'll be leaving for Tashkent tonight and inshallah I will see you in my next video and if you do like this video please do not forget to subscribe like and share please comment thank you peace assalamu alaikum
Thank you very much for watching and do not forget to subscribe for more from Uzbekistan and beyond.